in, in, the, in the large world of neuromodulation, peripheral nerve stimulation has been um, somewhat downplayed and abandoned over the years, even though it was probably one of the first modalities where neuromodulation was used for treatment of pain. So the, uh, recently we saw some renaissance and resurgence of interest uh, towards this field and, and to uh, um, uh, mine and everybody else's satisfaction. Now there's a lot of devices that are approved specifically for this application. So the field is changing rapidly. There's a large body of literature to support this, uh, the large experience growing uh, all over the world, uh, our practice and everywhere else. But there's a lot of uh, many, a lot of issues that uh, need to be addressed. And, uh, and I, I like discussing this with my colleagues because not only I share my accomplishment and, and headaches, but also learn from their experience how to overcome them, how to be prepared to certain issues and so forth. The peripheral nerve stimulation is growing rapidly uh, in many fields. M pain is a topic of conversation here, but it's also being used for many other applications. And, the, uh, um, and there's certain cross-fertilization from different fields to learn about uh, how to apply the electrodes, what kind of parameters to use, how to choose right patients, and um, even to the point of how to get proper authorization for having this procedure done in patients. Now with devices being approved and being on label, we um, uh, now have to make it more widespread and more established approach. And that's, that's, that's where the uh, uh, biggest hurdle is right now, to make something which uh, was on the fringes of neuromodulation into the mainstream, perhaps competing or overcoming other neuromodulation mod modalities. It, it appears that there's at least 12 companies in the United States who have FDA-approved devices for peripheral nerve stimulation. Probably eight or nine of them are designed for pain. The rest are used for uh, depression, epilepsy, uh, uh, urinary incontinence, the uh, um, uh, obstructive sleep apnea, diaphragmal palsy. They're, they're pretty much devised for everything. But in the field of pain, we have uh, four widely used devices from four different companies, and they uh, um, uh, are gaining ground, and they are becoming more uh, competitive because the patients that we uh, would normally consider as candidates for spinal cord stimulation or intrafecal drug delivery or for some type of uh, um, uh, destructive surgery are now being considered for peripheral nerve stimulation, and quite successfully so. So the, uh, the data in literature is growing, the experience of uh, implanters is um, uh, increasing, and, uh, and with this notion, I expect this to become more of the mainstream approaches.